This is QCC alum David Russell, the red and blue team from the alumni game, team up to take on the current version of the Lady Tigers. Melissa Day, Jesus, and Naija Irby will jump at midcourt. For the alumni, they have Nikki Tiberi, Melissa De Jesus, Latasha Harris, Dominique Williams, and Jackie Torres. The current Tigers have Naija Irby, Elise Langley, Crystal Santana, Anne Marie Johnson, and Giselle Prentice. Alumni win the opening tip. Dominique Williams can't hit. It's rebounded by Prentice. Elise Langley with it. And Marie Johnson misses. Prentice has it, and now the alumni have it. Dominique Williams, white jersey's in front of her. And Williams can finish off glass, rebounded by Irby. Gets it to Crystal Santana. Langley gets it to Prentice for three. No good, offensive rebound by Johnson. Prentice back to Johnson and the block by DeJesus. Latasha Harris. Good transition defense. There were five white jerseys surrounding Harris. Williams to Torres. Three-pointer is good. Jackie Torres makes it 3 nothing alumni. Langley in her second year with the Lady Tigers with the ball. Santana to tie the game. It's off. Rebounded by Johnson. Prentice misses. It's tipped. Prentice to Johnson. And it's rebounded by Dominique Williams. Alumni looking to extend their 3 0 lead. Queensboro in a 2 3 zone, which was their primary zone last season. That shot is off from Nikki Tiberi, who scored 29 points in the first game of this doubleheader. Langley throws it away. Possession alumni. Two minutes in, 3 0. Latasha Harris to Barry. Dominique Williams off glass, couldn't hit. De Jesus with the rebound and she puts it in. Five nothing alumni. Langley. Prentice. Langley with it, 18 on the shot clock. Crystal Santana. Cross court to Prentice. Nice pass to Johnson. Can't hit. Latasha Harris. Long pass to Tiberi. <laughs> Tiberi, nice pass. Latasha Harris from downtown. It's no good. De Jesus again. Can't hit. Tipped. Queensboro ball. Latasha Harris got a hand on it, and it's a turnover. De Jesus. <laughs> To Barry back to De Jesus. Seven nothing, and David Chambers calls timeout. David Chambers in his first year as head coach of the Lady Tigers, the third head coach in three years. Remember Joe Medina? A few years ago, won four CUNY titles in a row. Went down to Florida. Bob DiNardo was the coach last year. Queensboro was the regular season CUNY champs before losing in the semifinal game to BMCC. Then Coach DiNardo stepped down and David Chambers went from assistant to head coach. So when he was under Medina and DiNardo, you can't get two different coaches in that personality wise. Medina was usually up off the bench yelling. DiNardo more of a quiet type who sat down. Different formulas for success. Yeah, so far they're having a little trouble boxing out Melissa De Jesus. Doesn't matter what they do defensively if they score zero points. See what they come out with out of the timeout, looking for their first points of the game.
Langley puts up a long jumper. It's off. And Tiberi throws up a wild one and she's fouled by Prentice. Up a circus shot. As David Chambers talks to Elise Langley. Foul is on number 20, Giselle Tice. First one is off as it hits Williams. Splits the free throws, it's now eight nothing. Three and a half minutes in. Langley. To Santana for three. It's off, offensive rebound by Johnson. Prentice, back out to Johnson, the jumper is no good. Rebounded by Torres. Looking to make a double digit lead. Tiberi for three, it's good. Nikki Tiberi's been on fire today. It's 11 nothing alumni. In case you thought the alumni might be tired after the first game, they are not. Santana inside, can't hit. Latasha Harris. To Torres for three, and it's good. Jackie Torres with another three-pointer. It's 14 nothing. Torres, 14 alumni. Langley to Johnson. Rebounded by DeJesus. Latasha Harris. And Harris falls down. Ball to the current current Lady Tigers. Down by 14, almost five minutes in. And Torres steals that pass. Nice one-handed interception. As Torres may have gotten away with traveling and then missed. Santana, pull up three, is off, rebounded by Williams. And the current team gets it back. And a foul is called. Foul is on Dominique Williams. Giselle huh? Prentice trying to get the Lady Tigers on the board. It's 14 1. First pass to Giselle Prentice. When? So after she's done. Why oh, you didn't say that? Fourteen two. As Prentice makes the free throws and then goes out. Into the game, Santana Kamoy and the Ducey Gonzalez. Mirage. Mirage down low is fouled. <laughs> Foul is on Anne Marie Johnson, her first. Shooting to Sahara Mirage. Fifteen two. Splits the free throws. Oh. 
Wang Wei. Wang Wei being hounded. And a near turnover. Wang Wei kept it alive. And now the Tigers lose it. Nicole Johnson. Nice defense by Gonzalez. And Marie Johnson. Kick out Santana for three. It's good. Crystal Santana with the three pointer. It's 15 5. For alumni 15, Tigers 5. Alicia Barrow with it to Mirage. Barrow guarded by Langley. Walsh swings it to Johnson. To, to Barrow, down to seven on the shot clock and traveling is called. Queensboro trying to make it a single digit game. Santana for three again. Air ball rebounded by Barrow. Mirage to Nicole Johnson. And Barrow puts up a three and it's good. Alicia Barrow from downtown, it's 18-5. There's a three-pointer from Kanoi who can't hit. Alumni pushing it. Five Tigers points have come on free throws and a transition three. No points in the half-court offense yet as Nicole Johnson is called for a carry. Violation alumni, Lady Tigers basketball. Lang Wei to Santana. Lang Wei to Johnson. And Lang Wei's going to put up a three and it rims out. Barrow the rebound. Barrow to Mirage. Davis. Back out to Barrow. Johnson. Santana got a hand on it. Walsh has it now. That's a two, it's short. Kanoi pushing. Kanoi with some speed. Walsh comes over to cut her off and she misses the layup. Gonzalez can't hit either. But the Lady Tigers keep it. Santana for three. Misses. Rebounded by Kanoi. Johnson hits. And Marie Johnson makes it 18 7. Alumni 18. Lady Tigers, seven. Johnson. Barrow for three. Hits again. Alicia Barrow makes it 21-7. Nice pass from Langley to Santana. Santana's shot is short. Barrow gets it to Johnson. Langley standing between her and the basket. And the counted and the foul. Nicole Johnson will go to the line to finish a three-point play. It's 23-7. And David Chambers calls full timeout with 10.58 remaining in the first. Lady Tigers down by 16. Nine minutes and two seconds in. Alicia Barrow leading the way with six points. And Torres also has six points.
Cole Johnson tries to finish the conventional three-point play and does. It's 24-7. Prentice back to Langley. Gonzalez inside. Shot was blocked by Mirage. Johnson to Barrow, who's already hit a pair of three pointers. Mir Mirage, don't know who that was. Pass was a little high for Davis. Prentice to Kanoi who puts up a three and it's good. Shantana Kanoi from downtown. Her first points of the game, it's now 24-10. Walsh puts up a three. And that one is off. Kanoi pushing it. Kanoi with a lot of speed as she blows past the defense and lays it in. There's a reason Kanoi made it into Sports Illustrated's faces in the crowd section. Being a four-star, four-sport athlete at Johns Adams High School will do that. Walsh for three, and that one's off. And it'll be Lady Tiger ball. New alumni come in. Five points in a row for Queensboro. Prentice to Johnson. That shot is short. Barrow. Keanu Jane Lewis to Sly. And Simone Leathers gets it to Requeno. Molina for three, it's good. Molina makes it 27-12. Kanoi puts up another three, and that one is off. Alumni ball, 8.45 to go in the first half. Leather steps into a three, and that's off. Langley, pass for Kanoi is overthrown and it'll go back to the alumni. Possession, alumni. <laughs> Naija Irby goes in for Queensboro. Molina with it, guarded by Langley. Sly for three. Rebounded by Prentice. Kanoi. Langley, guarded by Molina. Kanoi with it. Langley down to 12 on the shot clock. Irby back out to Langley. Prentice gets a good look. Misses. Leathers trying to extend the alumni's 15 point lead. Seven and a half minutes to go in the first. Nice spin move. Couldn't hit. Keanu Jean Lewis puts it back in. It's now 29-12. And Keanu Jean Lewis nearly steals it. Got a hand in on it. Queensboro ball 22 on the shot clock. Crystal Santana is in. Kanoi. Gets it to Santana. 
And Marie Johnson, long two, is off. Alumni ball. Keanu Jean Lewis pushing it. Sandy shot is short, rebounded by Keanu Jean Lewis, who missed inside. Tanoy. Prentice gets it back to Kanoy. Bounce pass to Irby, and Irby's shot is off. Gets her own rebound. And Anne Marie Johnson misses. Ball to the alumni. Leathers with it, guarded by Kanoy. Molina, back to Leathers. And there's a turnover. Lady Tigers pushing, it's Irby. And Irby lays it in. Naija Irby has her first points of the game and it's 29-14. It's where their offense is gonna come from, transition points and layups. Leathers. Bounce pass to Sly. Keanu Jean Lewis cuts inside and will go to the line for two. With 5.44 remaining in the first half. First foul on Prentice. First one is off. Misses both. And it'll be Queensboro ball. Johnson get, did a good job to stay in bounds. Prentice with it. Johnson turn around jumper is good. Anne Marie Johnson cuts it to a 13 point game, 29-16. Leathers, double teamed, and traveling is called. Traveling violation, Lady Tigers ball. Subs coming in. Kanoi calls out the play with five minutes remaining. Santana is called for traveling. Traveling violation. Alumni possession. The score with 4.55 left in the first half. Alumni 29, Lady Tigers 16. Alumni in no rush. 4.45 to go in the first, up by 13. Williams, nice move inside and she'll get to the line for two. And that's the third foul on Giselle Prentice. That's a third personal foul, team's fifth. First free throw is good from Williams. 30-16. Chelsea Perez. <laughs> Williams hits both. It's 31-16. Gets it to Santana, who puts up a three. It's off. Get back. And that pass for Williams. Nice job by Williams to save it in. And Williams gets it back from Tiberi. Puts up a wild two. 
Chelsea Perez with the rebound. Kanoy. Johnson to Perez. Kanoy. Kanoy for three. Misses, rebounded by Irby, who's fouled down low. Irby at the line for two. Hits the first. Irby wearing number 15. She wore number 25 last season. Now Crystal Santana wears 25. It's now 31-18. Williams guarded by Kanoi. Williams, nice pass, down low, it's good. Cassandra Davis makes it 33-18. And then a near turnover, it is a turnover. And no whistle is blown. Williams, off glass, couldn't put it in. And now a turnover. Three-pointer is an air ball. Ball back to the current Tigers. Kanoi. Santana for three, it's good. Crystal Santana now has six points. Does the refs discuss something? Score is 33-21. Lady Tigers, 21. Williams with it. Tavares, the pass is overthrown. Perez with it. And Perez is fouled from behind. Foul is on Nikki Tiberi. With 2.31 remaining. Foul is on number 22, Nikki Tiberi. At the line, shooting two, Chelsea Perez. Perez has her first point of the game. It's 33-22. Perez splits the free throws. Alumni ball looking to extend the 11 point lead. It hasn't been a single, single digit game since the early moments of this game. Biggest lead was 17 for the alumni. Ball will stay with the alumni. The clock isn't running. Dominique Williams is fouled. Fouls on Chelsea Perez. Ball on Chelsea Perez. Dominique Williams. Dominique Williams, who had two free throws before, is back at the line for two more. Williams splits the free throws, and Kanoi. Kanoi is fouled. Kanoi was running as fast while dribbling the ball as the defense was running without it. Foul 
Falls out number 22, Nikki Tabiri. At the line, she's two. Shantana Kanoi. First one is good, it's 34-23. Kanoi with six points. Splits the free throws. Loose ball. Lady Tigers with it. And they'll keep it with 28 on the shot clock. 201 remaining. <laughs> Tiberi just missed a turnover. Three-pointer is off. And it's saved in, but Anne-Marie Johnson was on the line. Called by the ref who was right on top of it. That's why they added the third ref this year. First year of the three-ref system. Last year a lot of calls were missed. I mean a lot of calls. Nice strip, and now the Tigers have it. Irby, kick out Kanoi for three. Doesn't hit the rim. And Williams, nice play by Williams, who actually went on the floor for it. 80 seconds to go in the half. To Barry. To Barry, tough shot is off. One minute to go in the first half. Perez is fouled. With 57 and two ten seconds remaining. Perez inbounding to Kanoi. Kick out Santana for three, it's good. Crystal Santana makes it 34-26. Williams. Williams Kanoi with the steal. And Kanoi lays it in. 34-28, 14 seconds to go. Williams, seven, six, five, four. Williams swings it, one. And the three-pointer is good. Alumni, 37-28, 37-28. Queensboro should be happy to only be down nine after being down by as many as 17 in the first half. <laughs> Second half about to begin, alumni leading 37-28. The alumni were up by 17. At the start. Queensboro cut it to a six point game. At halftime, it's 37 28. Giselle Prentice will inbounds right at half court. The five on the court for the alumni, Latasha Harris, Dominique Williams, Sahara Mirage, Melissa DeJesus, and Jacqueline Torres. 
The five current Tigers, Naisha Irby, Crystal Santana, Anne Marie Johnson, Giselle Prentice, and Elise Langley. And the second half begins. Langley to Johnson. Santana for three. Rebounded by Mirage. Latasha Harris. Harris to DeJesus. DeJesus, nice move. Baseline, couldn't finish. And it'll be Queensboro ball. Lady Dragon ball. Langley. Santana back to Langley. Three pointer is off. Ball goes to Latasha Harris. Dominique Williams walks it up. Torres to Harris. Latasha Harris, nice move, but couldn't finish. Langley. <laughs> Santana left alone, couldn't hit. Irby, good tip to Anne Marie Johnson, and Santana hits a three on her second chance. That's a dozen points for Crystal Santana, and it's 37-31 alumni. Mirage couldn't hit, rebounded by Irby. Langley with it. And Marie Johnson couldn't finish. That would have made it a four point game. Williams couldn't finish. Langley is trapped and then beats the trap. Prentice, bounce pass to Johnson. Johnson shot, rebounded by Mirage, and then kicked out of bounds, it'll stay with Queensboro. Ball to Langley, who's gonna take the three. It's way off, that's why they left her all alone. Latasha Harris with it. Torres steps into a three. Rebounded by Anne Marie Johnson. Irby to Langley. Torres may have gotten away with the reach and foul. And nice defense by Torres, who then saves it into Mirage. And Mirage nearly turned it over. Latasha Harris counted on the foul. Latasha Harris. Thirty-nine thirty-one. Harris hits the free throw, it's forty thirty-one. Santana to Langley. Rev says take 10 seconds off the clock. Start at late. No, so it's 40, not 39. Langley with it. Santana to Langley. Anne Marie Johnson shot is no good. Mirage 
to De Jesus, and De Jesus is fouled with 16:31 remaining. That fouls on Anne Marie Johnson. To the line shooting two, Melissa De Jesus. Jesus splits the free throws. It's 41 31. Langley to Santana. And Torres with good defense. David Chambers asked for a foul, and then Torres turned to her old assistant coach and said that was all ball. Johnson guarded by Torres. And a turnover. Dominique Williams had it momentarily. Giselle Prentice has it now for the Lady Tigers. And Prentice is fouled. That fouls on Sahara Mirage. At the line, the Lady Tigers, Giselle Prentice. Prentice makes the first, it's 4132. <laughs> Brent is trying to make both. And does, it's 41-33. 16-03 remaining. Williams guarded by Santana. Torres. Torres puts it up and it's good. They call that a two-pointer. Rebounded by Torres, it's 43-33. Torres pass from Mirage is intercepted. Langley with it. And Langley's called for traveling. Good call. Nicole Johnson with it. And Johnson, nice pass. Nicole Sly couldn't hit. That would have made it a 12 point game. Langley. Langley dribbled it off her foot, but it goes to Santana. Johnson's long jumper goes out of bounds. Shantana Kanoi is in for Giselle Prentice. Johnson walks it up. Tough shot, Johnson is fouled. Bell is on Langley. Fouls on Lee Langley. At the line, shooting two, Nicole Johnson. First one is off. 
44-33 alumni. Langley, alumni in the 3-2 zone. Santana, long two, missed, offensive rebound, Kanoi puts it in. It's 44-35. Kanoi now in double digits for 10 points. And it's a single digit game. Walsh asking for it in the corner. Misses. And then the putback is no good by Tabriri. But then she's fouled. Trouble boxing out. That foul is on Asia First one is good. First one. One more shot remaining. Tiberi splits the free throws. Loose ball picked up by the alumni. Barrow puts it in. It's 47-35. Kanoi guarded by Walsh. Langley gets it to Santana who puts up another three. And it's good. Crystal Santana has 15 points. It's now 47-38. Two-three zone. Barrow could care less about the zone and it's 50-38. Langley with it. And David Chambers calls timeout. Timeout, Lady Tigers. It's a full timeout taken by Coach Chambers. With 13-19 to go, the alumni lead 50-38. Santana inbounding, Kanoi with it. Langley. Pass gets to Johnson. And Kanoi's three is good. Nice play out of the timeout. Kanoi has 13 points. The alumni have a nine point lead. 50-41. Johnson gets it to Walsh. Walsh baseline, jumper good. More of a floater, nice play by Walsh. It's 52-41. Langley to Kanoi. Blows past the defense, but then misses from in close. Gets her own rebound. Irby off glass. It's 52-43. Johnson walks it up. Barrow for three. It's good. Alicia Barrow from downtown. 55-43. Santana's left alone. She gets her own rebound, long rebound. Close one is no good. She came closer on the three than the close two. Langley, too strong, got her own rebound. 
Johnson misses. And then out of bounds, they'll stay with Queensboro. Alumni not able to grab the ball. Irby, Walsh got a leg on it. Kanoi inbounding, guarded by Barrow. And Barrow got a leg on it. They'll do it again. Sub goes in, Giselle Prentice in, Elise Langley out. Prentice, jumper, good. 55-45, 11.42 to go. Johnson gets inside and is fouled. A little slow on the help defense. Crystal, right now, 55. That fouls on Anne-Marie Johnson. At the line, shooting two, Nicole Johnson. First one is off. Johnson splits the free throws, it's 56-45, 11 and a half minutes to play. Kanoi calls out the play. Irby ends up with it, and a steal, almost. The ball will stay with QCC. Barrow on the defense. Prentice inbounding, Walsh jumping in front of her. Kanoi. Kanoi, nice moves, couldn't finish. Johnson out to Santana for three, and it's good. Crystal Santana from downtown. She has 18 points, it's now 56 48. Tiberi, Tiberi just missed, but she'll go to the line for two. Fifty-seven forty-eight. Lockdown. Fifty-eight forty-eight. Ten-point game. To see if Kanoi can find Santana, and Santana ends up with it. Misses a three. Kanoi actually had it smacked out of her hand, and it went right to Santana. Couldn't have passed it to her better. Tiberi guarded by Kanoi. And a carry is called. New alumni in, Simone Leather, Sandy Requeno. Keanu Jean Lewis. Kanoi. Gets it to Santana. And Irby with the offensive rebound. Couldn't hit from in close, alumni ball. Simone Leather's with it. And the three pointer is off, way off. Kanoi pushing it. Leather standing between her and the basket. Spin move, counted and the foul. 
Kanoi will go to the line to finish a conventional three-point play. Fifty-eight, fifty-one. Leathers. Tip. Queensboro ball. Go, go, go. Kanoi. Santana. Two-pointer is no good. Out of bounds ball to the alumni with 9.20 to go. Foul is on Niagara Irby. One and one, free throws will be taken. Cassandra Davis at the line. Short on the first, but it'll stay with the alumni. Keanu Jean Lewis inbounding. To Stephanie Tavares. Tavares misses. Go, go, go. Giselle Prentice pushing it. Santana to Johnson. Johnson's jumper is good. It's a five point game. Closest that's been since the early moments. Bounce pass for Quaino is fouled. Come here! Yeah. Foul is on number 55, Amory Johnson. At the line, shoot two, Hurricane Sandy. First free throw is good, 59-53. Takes her free throws as jumpers and she makes both, 60-53. Kanoi to Santana for three. Air ball. Couldn't quite save it in, alumni ball. And a full court press put on. Leathers. Leathers guarded by Kanoi. And a reach and foul is called on Kanoi. First one is good from Leathers at 61-53. Splits the free throws and Kanoi. Kick out to Prentice. Prentice shot rims out. Alumni ball. Leathers. Backcourt violation. 
Weathers didn't agree. Talks to the ref about it. Think it was the correct call, though. Been a good officiating crew today. This is why they went to three. Kanoi with it. Eight minutes to play, eight point game. Requeno with it and then throws it away. And then she commits a foul. Prentice will go to the line for two. This is the first. New alumni in. Molina, Harris, Torres, Williams, and Simmons. <laughs> Mrs. Both gets her own rebound though. And that's one way to get two points at 61-55. Williams, Kanoi, couldn't quite save it in. Watch out for the wall. Alumni keep the ball with 7.37 to go. Torres, in trouble, Molina picks it up, gets it to Harris. It's tough for the press in the women's game because they don't have to get it across in 10 seconds like the men. Molina for three. It's good. Maribel Molina makes it 64-55. Nice shot by Molina. Inside, couldn't hit. Loose ball. Molina has it and gets it to Latasha Harris. Chelsea Hanton missed for Queensborough. Screen, and then a loose ball, Queensboro ball. Kanoi, counted and the foul. Couldn't finish the three-point play at 64-57. And Dominique Williams goes coast to coast and lays it in. Nice play by Dominique Williams at 66-57. Six and a half minutes to play. Kanoi gets inside and she'll go to the line for two. Another foul on Torres. Sixty-six fifty-eight. Kanoi's second free throw is good. Sixty-six fifty-nine. Full court press. Torres. And Torres is called for traveling. Lady Tigers ball down by seven. Six twenty-one to go. Still a lot of time. Kanoi walks it up. Santana guarded by Harris. Hanton is fouled down low by Simmons. Alumni are helping them out with all these fouls. That foul's on the North Simmons. At the line, shooting two, Chelsea Hanson. 
Hanton air balls the first one. Hanton makes the second at 66 60. Lady Tag is trailed by six. Pass intended for Simmons. Simmons hands off to Torres. It goes out of bounds back to QCC. Timeout alumni, Damian Broadwater will figure out how to beat the, the QCC press. Press has gotten the Lady Tigers back in this game. See what Coach Chambers has for his Tigers after, after the timeout. Gonzalez passes tipped and turned over. Williams. Molina puts up the three. Air ball. 5.33 to go. For the Lady Tigers, number 55, Amory Johnson. Number 15, Niaja Irby. Kanoi guarded by Molina. Johnson, turnaround jumper is off. Simmons with it. Latasha Harris, see when the alumni start to run some time off the clock. And Harris loses it. Kanoi. Kanoi is fouled. That foul is on Latasha Harris. Foul is on Latasha Harris. Santana Kanoi. First one is good at 66-61. Lane violation, Kanoi knew the shot was gonna... We got a lane violation. Lane violation on Kanoi. She knew the shot was gonna be short, so she leaned in early. And a region foul is called on Kanoi. That'll be free throws. That foul's on Shantana Kanoi. At the line, shooting two, Nikki Tiberi. Tiberi at the line. <laughs> Tiberi gets a friendly roll on the first at 67-61. Sixty-eight, sixty-one. Kanoi with it. 
Noid Apprentice. You get to Santana. Irby guarded by Torres. Prentice inside, and she'll go to the line. <laughs> Refs are getting whistle happy in the second half. 4.49 to go. At the line, shooting two, Giselle Prentice. Prentice misses the first. Splits the free throws at 68-62. Williams. Williams gets inside and puts it in off glass. 70-62. 4.35 to go. Kanoi. Guarded by Tabiri. Three pointer from Prentice is off. Rebounded by Torres. Torres steps into a three, air balls it. Only 10 seconds into the shot clock. Kanoi. Kanoi does it all herself except score. Alumni ball. Tabiri. Tiberi gets inside, counted, and the foul. The lead is back up to 10. That foul is on 55, Amory Johnson. Number 11, Chelsea Perez. Elise Langley is also in the game for Lady Tigers. Misses a free throw, which rebounded by Perez. Langley. Pass was tipped by Harris. It gets to Santana. Santana couldn't hit, and it's rebounded by Barrow. Williams walks it up. This pass from Torres. Three pointers missed by Tiberi. Lady Tigers pushing under three minutes to play. Langley. Jumper from Prentice is good at 72-64. Bit of a press, although still playing a bit off. Torres to Williams, two and a half minutes to play. Tabiri guarded by Santana. Barrow guarded by the shorter Langley. And traveling is called. Lady Tigers regain possession. With 221 left to play. Alumni 72. Lady Tigers 60. And David Chambers calls timeout with 218 to go. 30 seconds. 30 second timeout taken by Coach Chambers. So drop a play in the huddle.
Langley. Santana. And Latasha Harris forces the jump ball. Alumni will get the ball. Tasha Harrison bounding, gets it to Williams. Now under two minutes to play. Tabiri, see if they milk the clock. Basket here may put the game out of reach. Tabiri gets inside and puts it in off glass. 74-64, 95 seconds to play. Langley to Santana. Santana hits at 74-66, 85 seconds to go. We're in guarding the inbounds. Tiberi just blows past the defense and then kicks out to Torres. Harris. Tiberi off glass again at 76-66. And Barrow with the steal. And then Harris trips over Perez and a foul is called on Perez. Foul is on number 11, Chelsea Perez. 49 seconds to go. First one is good, 77-66. They need points and they need points fast. Prentice in the lane, couldn't hit. Queensboro's not going to foul. The alumni led from the opening basket. They never trailed. They led by as many as 17. Latasha Harris inside. And Barrow with the putback. 79-66. And Santana will take a three. 79-69, Santana had a good game. And that'll do it. At the end of regulation, alumni 79, Lady Tigers 69. This is QCC alum David Russell. And the alumni take this one from the current Lady Tigers 79-69.